We really like this look and I think we're gonna see it in a couple more vans after this. But the coolest part about this thing, it actually opens up all the way. So say, uh, you know, you wanna get a better angle at the waves or see how the temp's going up there. Yep, looks about knee high, 10 guys. It's rough out there. Isaiah here with Campo Vans. Uh, we're gonna walk you through this awesome two wheel drive, late model Sprinter we just finished up. We'll start off with the exterior. As you can see, it's a little simpler. Of course, we got the flares by Flare Space, Arctic turn windows. The uh, owner of the van did a little custom black paint job to kind of break up the gray. Also have a Thule awning mounted to the factory roof rails, so no rack necessary on this build. Moving on to the interior of the van. First off, you'll notice a great color palette in this van. You got really warm, darker cabinets offset by the white wall panels. And then of course this super cozy carbonized bamboo that we all know and love. One of the big differences about this build than our normal layout is that we don't have the sink here, but the clients opted to move it over to the other side and do a really big galley cabinet here. Now this cabinet also holds our normal fridge freezer from Isotherm and a couple of nice drawer space. We got one really big pots and pans drawer at the bottom alongside two smaller silverware drawers here. One cool little design flare from the client is these nice little radius edges on the inset faces. We really like this look and I think we're going to see it in a couple more vans after this. Moving over to the other side, we have even more counter space and this is purely a storage cabinet. So we've got one top a thinner profile drawer and then one large one like you found on the other side and then another really cool feature that the client brought into it was these pass-through cubbies so if you open the slider you'll actually see the entry point to these same cubbies from the outside this is perfect for shoes or jackets or a blanket or something like that as you can see there's also no cooktop in this van they're going to opt for either a tabletop induction or just a camp stove not having a built-in stove in a van like this helps to be a little more modular if you want to cook outside or things like that there are a lot of options for different windows you could put in this space here you'll see the full-size ones with the t-vent we use those a lot but one of our favorites now that we're doing are these arctic turn windows one reason being is that they fit really nicely under this countertop so instead of covering up some of your window and venting you have a full space here and it frames out the galley really nicely another thing that's really nice is that these do awning out, as I'm sure you well know by now. And I'll show you. So we unclip, and they do that. And now we've got this wonderful ocean breeze coming into the van. And if it's buggy, that one's a screen. And then, of course, the other side, we have full blackout. And this is on both the slider and the driver's side in this van. Now, above the galley, we have classic upper cabinet. These, of course, are on shock supports. We have your system controls in this one, and then storage in this. Cool little feature, it dives in, gets a little shallower right here, so when you're working over the sink or over the counter, you're not gonna bonk your head. Here, of course, you have the microwave, which requires a little more space, so we jog it out. Cool blue pop color the client chose, along with the over galley shelf. You'll see back here, we have one more over the bed. So, of course, your feet will be going under this part, so there's no clearance issues. Really great for clothes storage. Um, something I think a lot of times that gets forgotten in a van is where you're gonna put all your clothes. This is a perfect spot for it. On just about every one of our builds so far, we've had a nice big walkthrough here. However, in this van, uh, the client opted to go with even more storage here and do a more fixed bed platform. One really great element about this is that it allows for steps to get into bed. So I'll show you that. We have two uh, of the features here that have heavy duty drawer slides. It's gonna be this one and this one. You'll notice how nice of a step up into bed this is. So two steps instead of one. This one, of course, is still storage. It's got a little bit on it. And this one can also double as a seat if you want to sit well doing dishes or putting on shoes, whatever it is. Both these plenty rated for body weight. Moving under that, we've got a really great porta potty system. It's a cassette toilet. So this has a mounted base and slides right out stows away really well and then of course one final little drawer on top to top it off awesome you can see just how much storage they've got going on in here so here we are in bed sleeping sideways of course thanks to flare space love these pop outs plenty of width for two people no problem plenty of headroom got the cab over the feet another nice little feature a couple of reading lights love these while we're back in the bedroom here 
you'll notice another cool Arctic turn feature we've got on this thing. So this is a skylight. So you can see it's got a blackout on right now, much like the front. Also has a screen. But the coolest part about this thing, of course it has electric lift, which is great, but it actually opens up all the way. So say, uh, you know, you want to get a better angle at the waves or see how the temp's going up there or clean your solar panels. You can just kind of cruise up. Yep, looks about knee high, 10 guys, it's rough out there. As you can tell, there is only seating for two. So the clients opted to go with the swivels as their main hangout space. This is a great example of a van that's built to a client's specifications. They didn't have a reason to have passengers or have a different space. They really liked the idea of using these swivels. So here we go. Instead of having a dinette here, we have a lot more storage, ton of counter space. As far as electrical systems go in this van, we've gone all Victron, uh, 400 amp hours of Battleborn lithium going through the Victron inverter, a solar charge controller, which is um, being fed by three panels up top. Those are actually Zamp panels on this van. We were able to work around the vent and the skylight using their slimmer panels, so we really like the modularity there. And that's gonna be a total of 300 watts on the roof. And moving up here, we're doing the usual Rickson's systems. So this is a uh, S-bar system, heating up the water and doing the air. And then next to that, they've also opted for the off-grid AC. Really love this system. Every time we install it, we're stoked on it. That's partially why we chose the 400 amp hours of lithium to power this guy. You're pulling about 50 amps at a full blast, so it gives you about four hours of use. Perfect if you want to run it for 30 minutes before bed, if you're in the desert, bring it down to 65 in here, no problem. Although we outfitted them with the off-grid AC, there's also tons of options for natural airflow in this van and everything's screened, which is really cool. We got the vent, we've got the skylight, we've got these two turn windows. And again, everything has screens. So tons of airflow in here, even if it's super buggy out. Out in the back, even though we've got that huge storage cabinet, we still got a bit of space for some bins, wetsuits, you know, gear, anything really. For the rear cabinets, we've opted to go with a netting enclosure instead of a door here. Nice for stuffing beach towels or stuff like that, quick grab items. Got a little storage door here. And then on the other side, we've got water tank with a little sight hole. Got a little light for that, lights it up so you can see your level. Also a bit of storage if you need. Easy access if you need to make repairs, as you always will when you're on the road. Back here, we've got the systems cabinet. You can see your Battleborn batteries, Victron inverter back there, 12 volt system, all nicely enclosed. We also have this Microdot flooring in the back. A little more burly if you're chucking bins in there and stuff like that. And also there's no way it's gonna slide into your living space. Now one feature of note is this is the first van we've had in the shop with the four cylinder turbo in it. So the gas engine. And what I can say as far as drivability, it's great. Around town, it feels a little better than the diesel, honestly. Um, I've, I haven't driven it on the highway, but as far as around town goes, it has plenty of power. They say the fuel economy is great. I think it's 21 city, 24 highway. All around, really pleased. Thanks for taking the time today to check out this van with me. I uh, hope you gained some inspiration for your build and look forward to seeing you next time. Thanks.